It's one of the most polarizing science fiction films ever made. Yet for this reason, it's also one of the most fascinating because it asks one important question. Could this world ever become our reality? Yes, this is THX 1138. THX 1138, which can also be read as 1138, originally began life as a 1967 USC student film called Electronic Labyrinth THX 1138 4EB made by George Lucas. Within the film, the titular character is attempting to escape the confines of his underground imprisonment, so the story mostly focuses on him running through an underground labyrinth of tunnels whilst being remotely tracked by the authorities. Under normal circumstances, the film's place in history would have simply ended there. However, it was through Lucas' collaboration with the then up-and-coming Francis Ford Coppola that his student film was remade into a full-length feature production in 1971 by the duo's American Zootropa studio as part of the burgeoning New Hollywood movement. Unlike the exciting Star Wars created by Lucas a few years later in 1977, THX 1138 is a cold and depressing film designed to highlight an extreme dystopian society under the most strict governance imaginable. Within this unnamed city, inhabitants are completely stripped of their identity and individuality to ensure absolute conformity. Everyone not only looks the same, but for the most part they also dress the same too. It is also a necessary legal requirement to ingest pills and tablets to suppress emotions which are strictly monitored, analysed and policed by the authorities. From a sociological and quality of life standpoint, it can be argued that the citizens in this world are the true embodiment of lost souls, as concepts such as hobbies, crafts and self-progression are either absent or repressed. In addition, art is completely non-existent and social institutions such as restaurants and cafes have no place in this world. Furthermore, relationships are outlawed and there is no evidence of communal friendship. Ultimately, the people of this world are born and raised in a clinically controlled environment for one single purpose, to work hard and increase productivity for the society. To this end, individual human life has no significance as noted by the large number of deaths caused in workplace accidents which are brushed off as mere statistics. Yet not surprisingly, religion remains an integral part of this society with the artificially formulated deity Om. As to be expected, the guiding hand of Om does not encourage self-discovery or enlightenment, but instead advises followers to work harder and consume more, so as to ensure the ongoing cycle of supply and demand. Another facet of this world is its size. Despite being underground, the city is so large and vast that it features cars, though who owns them is anyone's guess, highways, motorcycles and even rail systems, implying the population of the city is enormous. This then explains why, despite completely dominating all its citizens, the governing administration is forced to work within budget and financial constraints. With this in mind, it's likely that one of the city's biggest financial expenses surround the manufacture and operation of the highly advanced AI robot police force. With over 35,000 officers in operation, this is three times more than all the police officers currently serving in Los Angeles in our time. Another interesting facet about the film is how people are conditioned, through their medication, to not question their existence or their environment. To them, everything is completely natural, whilst the notion of escaping the relative safety of the city is beyond their comprehension, although crimes committed by perpetrators still occur. Even THX himself openly admits being content with his life until LUH3417 starts secretly modifying his medication intake. In the concluding moments of the film, THX successfully exits the city to experience the outside world for the first time, which in turn prompts a number of key questions for viewers to theorise over. For example, what did THX find when he got there? Was the world actually habitable and would he even survive? Under the outstanding direction of George Lucas, THX 1138 is a film which demonstrates how a human society can be completely subjugated when their government has too much control over them. Moreover, the film was created at a time when America was in the grip of both the Vietnam War and the Cold War, so optimism, faith and hope for the future were at an all-time low, and consequently many of the sci-fi films produced in this decade reflected this. Overall, THX 1138 is a film which will not appeal to everyone and may even turn some people off, but there's no denying the film's artistic, production and sound design achievements, which are best experienced in the director's cut of the film released in 2004.